Watch out for flood damaged cars. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. After every hurricane, flood damaged cars make their way north where unsuspecting northerners unfortunately buy these cars. Unscrupulous dealers, which are in abundance, unfortunately, yeah. knowingly retail these cars, and months later, the poor purchaser's car starts to show their damage with electrical problems well after the timeline in which they can recoup any money from the dealers. Unfortunate headlines like this one are starting to crop up after Hurricane Ian. Rotting from the inside, thousands of flooded cars from Hurricane Ian headed to North Carolina are slated to be arriving in what is known as the Triangle. These are cars that potentially some of you could end up buying, which, if you do, could ultimately cost you a lot of money and put you and your family at risk. Emily Voss with Carfax explains, There are mechanical, electrical, health, and safety issues with these vehicles as the brakes might not work properly, oh airbags might not work properly. They are literally rotting from the inside out. We know that sometimes there can be mold on the upholstery or bacteria in the ventilation system. In the aftermath of Hurricane Ian, Carfax estimates as many as 358,000 cars from Florida to the Carolinas have flood damage from Ian. This is on top of the already 400,000 water damaged cars in Carfax's database. Wow. Carfax estimates North Carolina is the sixth in the nation when it comes to the number of flood damaged vehicles on the road, with an estimated 15,600. Wow, that sucks. Yeah. But you may not know immediately if the car you're trying to buy has experienced flood damage. If the car was insured when it was damaged and salvaged, the title will state that it is a previously flooded vehicle. If the car was not insured, it can easily be cleaned up and resold without having flood damage documented. When you look at the current used car market with how low supply is right now and how high prices are, there's no doubt that con men are going to try to take advantage of the situation, clear these cars, and turn around to sell them to unsuspecting buyers. So, how do you tell, besides records, that the car could be flood damage? Before you buy a car, here are some of the signs you can check for that a car may have flood damage. Number one, open up the hood and look for rust, corrosion, or brittle wires. Number two, check around the doors and under the dash for signs of water damage. Number three, look for fog or moisture beads in the lights yeah. as it's often a sign a car has been submerged in water. Number four, when it comes to upholstery, seat belts, and carpet, look for water stains and even mold. Yes. And number five, if you smell a musty odor that could also be a sign of water damage, trust your nose, you guys, if the vehicle has an unexpected smell. Besides flooded cars hitting the market, there's an urgent alert about electric vehicles in Florida that have been mm. bursting into flames in the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. Remember our dire warnings about EVs and fires? Officials said the salt water interacts with the EV batteries and is sparking the fires. Florida's state fire marshal called on federal officials for action. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration responded in a letter acknowledging the problem, wow. writing, Lithium-ion vehicle battery fires have been observed both rapidly igniting and igniting several weeks after battery damage occurred. If you have an electric car that's been damaged in floodwaters, especially salt water, You'll want to make sure that the car is unplugged. Boy, it would have sucked to be in Florida with an EV during that hurricane. Right. It is so important to check the history of any car before you buy it. You can use Carfax's free flood check, but again, not all car history will show up on these reports. Remember our video, Carfax is not the car Bible. So never buy any car sight unseen and never put all your trust in Carfax, no matter what claims they make. And the best advice we can think of for you is to take it to a mechanic for a pre-purchase inspection. Critical. Yep, where they can get underneath the car and spot what you may not see. If the dealer doesn't want the car going to a mechanic, just say no. Also, if the mechanic has doubts, believe them and don't buy the car. The natural follow-up question would be, how many flood damaged vehicles are there really and how big is the risk of getting one? Well, there are fields full of cars in Florida that are flood damaged. What is supposed to happen is that these cars will be totaled by the insurance company. The title will be converted to a salvage title. The vehicles will either be scrapped for recycling or broken down for parts. Consumer report states, totaled cars are typically sold at a salvage auction to junkyards and vehicle rebuilders. Reselling them to consumers may be legal if the flood damage is disclosed on the title. Ugh. Those salvage title cars can't be registered until necessary repairs are made and the vehicle is reinspected by officials. Then the vehicle is given a rebuilt title which allows it to be registered for consumer use. 
But with inventory of used cars being short, unscrupulous dealers will do anything they can to get their hands on a car, flood damaged or not. Unfortunately, you can count on there being plenty of flood damaged vehicle scams out there right now. There is a scam that people outside of our area will need to watch for as a flood damaged cars are purchased and cleaned up. Then they take them out of state to places like Texas where the VIN is switched and the car is retitled with no indication it has been damaged. I've even heard reports that some of these vehicles may end up resold in Mexico, where it's a lot more difficult to search the title. If your vehicle was submerged in any way, don't assume that it's going to be okay. It's likely it is flood damage even if the problems don't show up immediately. Yeah. Call your insurance company. If you want to retain ownership of your totaled vehicle, it is possible. According to Forbes, if your vehicle is totaled, you may still be able to keep your car as the owner retained salvage. You will get a salvage title and will need to make it legally roadworthy based on your state if you want to drive it again. If the car passes a state inspection, the car will receive a rebuilt title. Keep in mind, however, it may be difficult to get insurance on a vehicle with a rebuilt title. If you happen to be the owner of a flood damaged car, while it may seem a little unlikely source for help, FEMA is another valuable resource. This is what we found on their website. First, file a claim with your insurance company if you have comprehensive coverage. Comprehensive policies usually pay for storm-related damage to a car. Federal disaster assistance may help fill the gaps for those whose coverage does not pay for any or all of these storm-related damage costs. If you are uninsured, you can apply for an SBA low-interest disaster loan. If you're unable to receive help through insurance or SBA, you may qualify for assistance from FEMA through the Other Needs Assistant, ONA, program. Assistance is usually limited to one vehicle. If you have more than one vehicle and at least one of those is operational, FEMA will not award assistance without justification for the additional vehicle. If damage is cosmetic, it will be ineligible for assistance from FEMA. It's important to know that only those who maintain at least liability insurance will be considered to receive federal disaster assistance to repair or replace their vehicles. Survivors who register must submit proof to FEMA that they maintain liability coverage to be considered for federal disaster assistance to repair or replace their cars. Whatever you do, don't be so desperate to get a vehicle that you ignore our warnings and risk getting burned by a flood damage car scam. Sure. To our used car owners out there who like some relief at the gas pump, it's now easier than ever with a greatly improved website for ordering X caps. Visit the link you see appearing on the screen, mpgextreme.com slash the homework guy and hit the shop button at the top of the screen. Scroll down and you'll see 10 X caps for $29.95 plus shipping, 30 X caps for $59.95 plus shipping, or the best bargain per X cap is the third preferred customer option of 50 X caps for $99.95 plus shipping. This is the one that we recommend here at The Homework Guy. And if you elect to join our fast growing team of ISRs, I will contact you directly and share my cell number with you to give you free of charge the added bonus of unlimited direct access and advice from me or Liz on your future car deals. How'd you like to have the two of us on speed dial when you set foot in a dealership? Once you get a foot in the door in our circle of friends, you become our friends for life. That's right. If you have any questions about the XCAP and how it can restore the original fuel economy of your vehicle or fleet of vehicles to like new condition, email us at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com or call text 701-441-3399. We have a huge customer database that's growing every day, so we know what results you should expect, how to conduct a proper test, and we promise you an honest answer. And yes, Kevin often does answer calls or calls people right back who try to reach us on the MPG line. At a minimum, you're going to get a text from us. The truth is, while our advice on car buying can save you thousands on your next car deal, the XCAP can save you used car owners hundreds of dollars immediately on fuel expenses. Yeah. It's a win-win deal. So one last offer I want to make here today, for those of you who are truckers, owner operators, or you own a small trucking outfit, especially if your trucks are slightly used and have a few more miles on them, we would love to send you free of charge enough truckers crumbs to treat 120 gallons of fuel for you to try this out first and then start saving money on your diesel costs with your trucks we love truckers thanks for working so hard you guys absolutely all right if you're new here at the homework guy channel don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell we welcome all of you to our family and of course please share our videos on social media thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful followers and our growing team of isrs out there you guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Once again, we have saved the day, but now we, we gotta, gotta go. go.